I am headed to see Ariel. Now, Ariel has screwed me and doesn't even know it. I rely on Ariel for content. Like, I don't break news. And he does. That's a very hard and full-time gig that I give him full credit for. But I'm then like a vulture. Okay? He gets the kill. I swoop in after he scooped it, and I take it. And then I come and bring it to you guys. And he's been out for like a month. It has been so difficult. True, truly, when I come to talk to you guys each day from the studio, I will go to Ariel's Twitter page. And he started burning me like a year ago. Like a year ago, he started you know, got the NBA. And the little dork was doing something with darts for a while, pretending that he was into darts. It was like he's pretending he's into basketball. Like, come on, no, no, nobody's into basketball. Then... He somehow spills a little bit over into the WWE, which is a very nice direction. I'm hoping that he will stay there. And then he lands on boxing. And it was hard to get any MMA news, right? Like, if you're coming in, you're counting on a guy to do the heavy lifting so you can come in and take the credit, which is what our relationship was. Like, there was nothing new about it. I wasn't the only guy ripping off his efforts. I was just one of the guys ripping off his efforts. But when he stopped doing it, it was a little bit of a dick move, and there was no warning. Now, bring us to a month ago. He puts out something that he's starting this new thing, and it's, it's a vertical. He's doing this vertical. And, I mean, I got to tell you, like, like these online nerds with, with, their, with their new little vernaculars really is annoying to me. When I hear stream, well, it's not a television. It's a stream. What's the difference? I'm watching it on my television. What possibly is the difference? But they want you to get it right. And then they want to talk about linear television. But linear television, it's on the, te it's all television if it comes through the television and not if it's digital. What the, f I mean, how annoying. It all comes through the TV. I give a goddamn how you filmed it. That's your job. Film it, get it to me when I push the button. That's the exchange and then charge me every 30 days. That's literally our exchange. But they want to get it right. And Errol announces that he's doing this new thing. And it's, just, I think with Yahoo, it's someone big. I think it's Yahoo. If I'm wrong, it's Google. And... He's doing a vertical. He's doing a new vertical. And I'm so annoyed when I see it. It's like, first off, I, I'm annoyed for a year. I've had to go and do my own research, which is not what I signed up for. Then I got to read about dart dorks and watch him pretend that he's excited about a basketball game to a month of nothing because he's launching a vertical. I don't even know what that means. In fact, I asked him what it meant on social media as a way of helping him, as a way of kind of like letting him know, hey, dude, this vertical you're launching, no one knows what that is. Even the nerds that are into darts don't know what that word means. So if you would like us to watch and come along this journey with you, let us know and use words that humans use. He never got back to me. In fact, he did get back to me, but it was like some kind of a snide comment. So then I thought the name of his show was Vertical, which I'm here to help him. Like, I've been ripping him off for years. Like, I'm happy to give back. I mean, it's a give and take relationship. So I don't know. The bottom line is I don't know, but it launches today. Now I know why he hasn't been on for a month. So, 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 so as he pulled out of whatever he was doing, he was like a little gopher. He would, he, you'd go into his, to, to his, and then you got to go underground in this little dirty, filthy office that was his. And I think he's in a new location now. And he's doing something called a vertical with his digital friends in the dark room. I really don't know. I can just tell you the reason he hasn't been doing the MMA hour on Mondays is he, he took a delay and things are picking off today over at the Venetian. I'm headed to it. He's invited me to be a guest. I would like to tell you more. I'm glad that Ariel's getting back at it. He's a bit of an institution, like Ariel and Mondays and MMA. You know, they really go together. He's done a, a terrific job. And I'll tell you more when I know. But I think this event is live. I know it is open to the public, which is very cool. I've always wanted to do one of those myself. You know, invite you guys in and have guests. Like, I feel like that'll be a, a good energy. And basically, I can, I can tell you before I even get there what he's going to do. He's going to pretend like he's really happy to see me. and you know, It means so much. And thanks for giving me your time. And then he's just going to try to get rid of me. It's the same thing he does every time. But I'm not going. I'm not going. He took up my time. 
He screwed me for the last month. He's burned me for almost a year. I'm gonna put my feet up. I'm gonna stay a while over at Ariel's new vertical.